feel like the art that you've been making the last few years is much more proactive, is much more you're yeah. kind of in your own center and you're like, what do I want to do as opposed to what's coming at me that I that I want to respond to? I used to just uh, react so quickly and uh, that's how you gain enemies is, when, is because you react before you, you know, too quickly, you know? And uh, I felt like I, w I had to be the best at everything and and compete at everything in a sense of like, uh, like music and uh, selling tickets and this and that. And a lot of other people do that, but it ain't about that, man. It's about this. It's how good your songs are. That's what it's about. Because your songs will stand. You could be the most attractive dude in the world with a moder uh okay voice. You're only gonna be. Uh, successful for so long if you don't have good songs man it's so important to have good songs that last longer than you live you know look at queen we just said metallica man this is that's what i want to do you know and i think that i've i've started doing that music that means something to people yeah it's, in their own life that's w way more important than how i'm dressed Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. it's just uh, nowadays, like you see a lot of people, I mean, not even nowadays, like always it's been this way, but a lot of people just kind of just phone it in. Like they, they got a mediocre song, but they look cool. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I would just rather focus on the songwriting and it, it uh, you know, meaning something to a lot of people. Now, so even with artists, particularly in, in the rock world, who have great songs, who have a good stage show, who have a lot of things going for them. Longevity is so difficult and seems so one in a million, you know, and, and even for artists that are able to reinvent yeah. or have a comeback or whatever, yeah. you know, there's so many. By the way, speaking of longevity, shout out to Corey Taylor, Jacoby Shaddix, Breaking Benjamin, In This Moment, A Day to Remember, these are the these bands are they, I feel like there's so many bands I could name right now, but um, if they're keeping it together, man, it's it's like yeah. you, keeping it together, and it's it's so important for these kind of bands because it it inspires younger bands to continue to uh, to to have that longevity, man. Yeah, I always worried. At, I was like, I'm just gonna be washed up one day because you know that's what happens, man. You get washed up, but. It's been so long, and I'm like, what the fuck, bro? You guys, this is my biggest, wait, yeah. I'm bigger than I was before? What the hell, man? Like, it's, and I guess this is what you call longevity? But in your case, you've had multiple moments in your career where people in the industry and the press, certain segments of, of fandom have written you off. Like, well, this is it. Like, yeah. okay, he, he, he got up to here, but that's it. You know, and, and whether, and all the way back to getting kicked out of Escape the Fate. It was like, well, that guy's over. Yeah, well, They're moving on. They're going to a major label and whatever. He's going to jail. Yeah. And then the first Fall Universe album is a big thing. And it's like, okay, well, that was his like one yeah. amount of jail. You know, it's like there's every step of the way, yeah. you know, it, it's like, yeah. well, that's it. Yeah. And yeah, it's you wild. keep the resilience it's crazy. and the reemergence each and every time. Yeah. What, what is that? Like how? Songwriting. Songwriting. Because looks fade. Songs are forever. You know, songwriting is so important. You got you got to make songs that are good. But um, even if certain people don't like them, you know, that's what I learned too. They're like, that song sucks. He's like, but why is it so big, man? It, it, you, it's just you don't like it. it. You know what I mean? You're not the only person on earth. You know, I, I don't have any guilty pleasures. Yeah. I like I like Adele. I like I like Marshall Mathers. I like Slim Shady. I like G Unit. Like. In, in their prime G unit. I like Avril Lavigne's songwriting, Max Martin, you know, the melody top lines. I'm just going all, off every sure. spectrum, part of the spectrum, you know? Yeah. And none of it's a guilty pleasure. Well, yeah, without having to overly explain. I mean, no, nah, if I'm at a stoplight bumping Avril Lavigne, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you, you, I don't like a girlfriend. I'm, and somebody rolls up, I'm going to be like, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, you know? It's more time set out the window. It's more time, place, and circumstance. Right. Of like, you know, That's where not are a guilty you pleasure, and, though. You know, yeah. because I'm literally telling you I like it. So, your art has gotten into a place where other people are eating off of just talking about your art. I you think know? it's cool. Like that yeah. says something about like yeah the impact that it's having that people yeah. can make a whole video totally. about it yeah, and yeah. it gets a million views. Right. You know, people always try to compare. Like this is what I always notice too. It's like you're washed up, or like they they 
I see it all the time. I see it with everyone too. They're like, uh, for example, like Eminem, he's a good example. Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady, whatever. Uh, this motherfucker sells this, this dude has like 46 million monthly listeners and all over YouTube right now is people saying that, uh, nobody listens to him. It's like, bro, <laughs> right. he's like the biggest selling rapper right now. He's like 48 years old. He's still like fucking, you know what I mean? And I'm like, well, if he's getting that, I can't take anything personal anymore. It's like, even he's like, he's like at the top of the world, man. And people are literally like, he's a has been. And it's like, but he's literally outselling everyone. So it's just, there's no, there's no like, um, you know, I'm not even, I'm not up there. So when I see it, I don't take anything personally more when people are like, you only have 85 million streams on Popular Monster and it came out a year ago, dude. You're, you're a piece of shit. That sucks. You know, you see that. You're like, what do you mean only 85 million? You know what I mean? That's a lot, man. It's insane. Like, people come, like, <laughs> I feel like people compare music so much that, like, uh, if you look in the comment section of, like, a music video, it's like, he looks like this person. This sounds like this person. This is this person. It's just, that's what humans do. We, like... We try to figure things out. And if, yeah, we and want if to we, count and measure everything. And if you can't figure it out, you either A, you strongly dislike that person because you can't figure them out because you're scared, you know. You're scared of what you you can't figure out in a sense. Um, or B, I don't have a B actually. There's no plan B. Sorry. And, and that's the thing about art is it's subjective. You right. don't have to like it. Right. You can love something. You can hate something. Mm -hmm. The idea that, of exerting so much energy into hating on something is just something I've never identified yeah. with. But... You know, those tend not to be people that are contributing. If you're busy contributing and making things and creating things, yeah, you don't I think, have uh, time to be. Yeah, people hating. that people that love you, I feel like uh, uh, most of the people that love you, uh, they don't feel the need to go on Twitter and tell you. They just assume right. that you know that. Right. So the reason why you see people talking shit is because they feel the need. They think you don't know. That they don't like you. And that's when you see a video that has... I hate you. Like, fuck And you fuck see a music you. video with 50 million views, X number of dislikes or whatever. It's always like such a small percentage. That's what I never understood. This is what I never understood too, man. Go on YouTube right now. Google... Uh, Google, sorry. Uh, search uh, wind in the trees. Right? So wind in the trees. It's just the sound of wind blowing in the trees. You know, it helps you sleep at night, right? And you'll see somebody watches that and then they fucking hit the dislike. You hit the dislike button on win, bro. Fuck, man. That's so ridiculous. Don't you think that's ridiculous? You're disliking win? You dislike, dude, I go or I YouTubed uh, cute, uh, cute babies, uh, you know, like, uh, like a montage just to see. And it's just a bunch of like kids being funny or whatever. And there's like fucking 2,000 dislikes. Imagine somebody, somebody being like, that kid's fucking ugly. Yeah. Fuck this video. You know what I mean? It's like, what? Like, it blows my mind, and imagine man. that person is ignoring the rest of their life, too, because they're like, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like cute dogs. That's a good one. Yeah, it's like cute dog, funny dogs. It's like, I'm a cat person. Fuck you. You know what I mean? It's just, it's wild. I put things in perspective that way. I'm like, well, if this is happening, then this is, what you know, it, it makes a lot more sense that way. People thought Ozzy Osbourne was washed up when he was fi fired from Black Sabbath. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's over. He's never gone. Thought, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Uh, my bass player, uh, Ty, his name's Tyler. Uh, he uh, told me at the la my last video shoot, he goes, he goes, yeah, man. He goes, think about this. You went to prison for two and a half years. Now you're sitting in the director's chair while all these people are filming you for a, a, a reimagined version of a song that went gold that you wrote in prison. In prison, yeah. After getting kicked out of a very successful first band that you had. So you not only got one chance, but you got two chances. And 1% of the population only get one chance. And I was like, Jesus! Like, he made me, yeah. like, I was like, damn, dude. It made me feel really good. It made me, uh, his perspective really, like, uh, it was great to hear that, you know? Yeah. Never heard it like that before. Yeah, and never you know, forget it. I'll never forget it. I'll give you the I'll give you the Ozzy Sabbath, and I'll give you the Sonny Moore, and from first to last. Yeah, look at look yeah, at that him. was enough of your generation. You remember? Yeah, him being out of the band, and it was like the band was going on and doing their thing and whatever. He exploded. He 
became like Kurt Cobain of <laughs> the whole um, scene, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so, and I think that those are very inspirational stories, your story. Yeah. For people, because everybody, we all have setbacks. We all yeah. lose that job or fall out with that person or break up with that significant other, whatever it is. And I think people identify with that about you as an artist is yeah. seeing your story, like that you continue to. Yeah, I, I'm kind of uh, put my weapons down, man. I don't want to. I don't want to fight anymore. You know, I don't want to. I'm going to fight with people. You know, I'm I'm over it. You know, I don't want. I don't want to. Uh, I mean, I will if I have to. I mean, I fucking will, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. You know, um, that you love to hate. I guess in, in a sense of like, I'd rather be your friend. You know, it's. We could we could both share the stage. You know what I mean. We could share the spotlight, man. You know, so I guess that comes with age and comes with the uh, the feeling of feeling like uh, confident in yourself in in a real way, not in like a false ego kind of way. 